Okay, we're coming on to Schooner here. This is going to be this corner house up on the left. A little more neighborhoody that you're used to. But the walking is, I think, tremendously different. So that's this house here on the left. It's another corner lot. A smaller parcel, something more you're used to, less maintenance costs, less landscaping costs. Newer roof. Marnie's a great agent. I'm going to go down to this little cul-de-sac and I'll turn around and we'll drive through the neighborhood. And we're going to come out to what they call Ocean Road. Give you a little video tour here. And this is what they call a cluster development. They built the houses closer together, but as you see behind these houses, they have a lot of open space. But it's probably not open space that you'd use to walk your dog. But we'll drive out through the neighborhood and we'll drive down to the water so you get an idea of uh, the type of waterfront and the water views you'll have on your dog walk. Again, the house is up here on the left, this yellow one. Again, it's a corner lot, so it's a nice showpiece. It's actually at the entrance of Schooner Cove. Now this road comes out to a road called Ocean Road. That's because, as you would assume, it runs along the ocean. Too. Okay, now let's drive down to the water. three different ways to the water here in this neighborhood. I guess we'll go this way first. Up here you have some clam shacks and lobster rolls. Oh, so many different ways to go. I'll continue going straight. Now you might be able to see the water in the video. I'm not sure if you can see the water, but this is direct ocean front. And you got a couple of ice cream stores, uh, clam shacks. Again, we can go along the water here. Get a nice dog walk. Going down to the Point Judith Lighthouse. Again, we're probably at about a quarter mile right here from the house. There's a couple of state parks up here. We'll bring you down to the point. And 
around this corner you're gonna see the lighthouse This is Coast Guard Station Point Judith, or better known as the Point Judith Lighthouse, or Land's End. You can't go any farther south in Rhode Island. Now, if we go up the little hill, you'll be able to see the views. You'll be able to see over to Fall River, New Bedford, Massachusetts, Newport, Rhode Island. Hang on, I'll turn around so you can get a... All the surfers are out. I get up over there. You go up there. Yeah, yeah I'll park one way. Oh, they're just parked in the road, huh? Yeah. Yeah, jamming everybody up. Give you a little idea of Narragansett. A lot of surfers out today. Now I'll bring you down to the jetty. And that will conclude our two tours. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to take a different direction from your house, or from Schooner. Instead of going in that direction, we're going to go across the street. And here's you got some ice cream and some pizza and some clam cakes. And we're going to go along one of the state beaches down to all the fishing boats. So if you like lobster, fishing boats, restaurants, tourism, um, this would probably be the way you'd want to walk that night. And of course, you can walk through the neighborhood if you didn't want to be on this street. There's a neighborhood on the right side of us. So I'd love to get one of these for you and, uh, you know, make it what you want. Now we're coming across the causeway right now to the, to the beach. Uh, now in the winter time, people do bring their dogs on the beach, but they do have to pick them up, pick up the stuff. And again, we're about a half a mile from the house right now. This whole loop is probably a three mile walk if you went this way. Down to what they call the uh, section called Galilee. Take some pictures of the Osprey. Now, if we weren't in a car, we'd be walking along the sandy beach. Matt's doing this one. Matt Dabbit.
Now the ocean's on our left and the salt marsh is on our right. Now this is just a rotary. We wouldn't go this way if we were walking. We would have went straight, but it's a one-way street. I need to get a helmet cam for this. we're down to where the fishing fleet is at. This is the largest fishing fleet in the continental United States. Over to the right, you'll see Jerusalem across the uh, breach. That's the inlet to Galilee. And the beach. This body of water is called Great Salt Pond. And I believe that probably concludes this tour. So Debbie, we look forward to seeing you come up.